Today's video is brought to you by Audible. Get your free audiobook download and 30 day free trial at www.audibletrial.com forward slash magstv or click the link in the video description below. G'day ladies and gents and welcome back to DCS World with Mags and welcome to TacView. For those of you who are unfamiliar with this software, TacView is a universal flight data analysis tool. It's a third party program that you can run in the background while flying in most major simulation titles that will record everything that happened over the course of an engagement and allow you to sit back and watch the entire engagement from, well, the perspective you see here, being able to see where aircraft moved through, what they did, how they maneuvered, and how everything within the battle played out. Now I've overlaid the actual recording from the last video in the bottom right hand corner so you can sort of see where we were up to in that engagement or in that video in comparison to what's going on in TacView. At this point we're taking off and beginning our circle down the coast to gain altitude. Now, as I'm sure it will be asked in the comment section, what simulations does TacView currently support? Well, it supports DCS World, Falcon 4.0 with BMS, IL-2 Stromovic, the X-Plane series, Lockheed Martin's Prepared 3D, Microsoft Flight Simulator, VRS TacPack and Superbug, and Enemy Engage Comanche vs Hokum. And the devs are constantly working to add any other major simulations that they currently don't have on their collection to TacView as well. And before anyone asks in the comments, no, it's unlikely that War Thunder will ever be added to TacView's collection. So, still climbing for altitude at this point, we're passing 15,000 feet and the entire squadron is off the ground now, slowly circling their way up, chasing me into position. Still maintaining a high angle of climb, heading for the eventual 22,000 feet that I hit before leveling out. And at this point, I'm just maintaining direction and trying to maintain airspeed through the rest of the climb. And we begin our final bank to bring ourselves around, lining up with the mountains. And this is the point where I start setting up the aircraft ready for combat. In hindsight, if I realized that the enemy forces were going to penetrate so deeply into my area, I would have already had the aircraft set up as I was in the process of taking off. And there they are. You can see the squadrons. There is three MiG-21s and three MiG-29s in that formation. And at this point, we're starting to get our alerts. So, setting the countermeasures in the aircraft and preparing to drop the tank. And if you look closely at the MiG formation and the remaining M2000s behind me in my flight, you can see we're all dropping tanks at the same time. And there we go, my tank's away. Now Wingman 1 is going to stay with me through these manoeuvres to attack the formation from the side, but Wingmans 2 and 3 are already breaking off to begin engaging the MiGs directly, and Wingman 3 is about to take a shot with a 530, the 530 being the semi-active radar-guided missile, the Matra. Now that missile's targeting MiG-29A number 5, you can see it's already popping countermeasures. The rest of the MiG formation is lightly manoeuvring as well. All of them are heading for Wingman 3 and 2. And the missile does not land home and continues on its path. I pop countermeasures as a precaution. And Wingman 3 has fired his second 530. And again, no love. It passes through the formation. No impact. And he's now banking in to engage MiG-29 number 5 in close range. While Wingman 2 is banking around looking to get a headshot. And I've also released my Super 530 into the side of the formation at a second MiG-29. That's MiG-29 number 6. The missile, of course, does not connect because I break my connection with the aircraft. And at this point, we are at the merge with all aircraft engaged in close range combat. And at this point, Wingman 3 has fired one of his 550 infrared guided missiles, the Magics, and taken out MiG 21 number 3. So, one enemy aircraft is down. High speed bank and climb. I'm maneuvering to engage MiG-21 number 4, while Wingman 1 is merging in to engage MiG-29 number 5. I didn't actually realise MiG-29-6 was so close at that point. And I've released the first of my R-550 magics. Impact on MiG-21-4, it is now eliminated. 
where I immediately invert the aircraft and push it into a dive due to losing so much speed on such a high angle climb. Now while I was taking out the MiG-21, Wingman 1 took down one of the MiG-29s leaving only two hostile aircraft in the flight remaining. Countermeasure deployment through the dive and I have track on MiG-29 number 6. Solid lock and release R550 magic. Impact, MiG-29-6 has been eliminated. And this was the point that I began to break away from this core fight. There's only one enemy aircraft left, although I didn't realize there was only one remaining at the time. But I was down to one missile and heading to take out the primary objective. Now this is one of the interesting things that attack view is fantastic for. It's realizing what could have happened at this point. The remaining MiG-29 takes a swing at Wingman-1, who deploys countermeasures and maneuvers out of the way. Missile misses. He then continues his dive through and locks onto Wingman 2, releasing a second R-73 missile. This one, however, doesn't miss. This is the only loss that our flight of M-2000s takes. Mirage 2000 has been destroyed. Now I'm going to give the AI the benefit of the doubt here and say that the MiG-29 seemed to realize that I was breaking away and heading towards a mission objective. Now these MiGs are programmed to defend that objective, so the MiG immediately breaks out and starts to pursue. Wingman 1 does fall on after him, but he is low on missiles at this point in time and the MiG is pulling away and actually gaining on me by virtue of the dive that it just came out of. However, it's at about at this point that the gap between myself and the MiG stops closing. At this point I am well over the sound barrier, I'm at about Mach 1.2, the MiG actually can't maintain the speed and begins to bank off and break away. That MiG-29 manages to successfully RTB during the course of this battle and is in fact the sole survivor of this engagement for the Russian side. Anyways, ladies and gents, I hope you enjoyed the video and thank you very much for watching. Tac View has been something that I've been wanting to put onto the channel for some time, but I've been unsure exactly how to go about putting it in and fitting it into a video. Having it as a video on its own, however, following a DCS video sounds like a potential possibility and should people enjoy it I may even expand that into other videos and for other simulators in the future just let me know in the comments down section down below if you actually did enjoy this and until next time click that like button subscribe if you want to see more and as always fly smart fly safe and I'll catch you in the skies <laughs>